What's up guys? Tyler V at ZZP here, coming at you with another blue car video. It has been many moons, my apologies, but the car just runs so well, it hasn't really needed anything. Uh, but as you can tell, we're over here today at the dyno. Uh, it's been a couple years. In fact, the last time it was at the dyno, it was in the old chassis, old blue, RIP. Uh, but today I wanted to get the car strapped down, get a new baseline because it has been so long. Uh, you know, most things with the setup with the car are exactly the same. I mean, still stock pulley, E85, intake, exhaust, that's about it. It's a good car, uh, but suspension has changed, brakes have changed, and most importantly, my wheel and tire package has changed. And because it's been so many years, I just wanted a nice, good number uh, as an A test because coming at you shortly, we're gonna, we're gonna spice things up a little bit. Old Blue here is gonna get some stage two ZZP cams and 82 pound valve springs from the factory the stock camshafts are, they're mild. They're intended for your everyday daily driver, grandpa, whoever's buying these cars brand new back in 2006. Uh, but they did leave quite a bit left on the table, especially when you start increasing airflow. So we're gonna throw some new chopsticks in, raise the rev limiter, and more importantly, we're gonna replace those old worn 100 and, I don't know, 35, who knows, how old they are, but the, the valve springs that are in the head are all original. They've put in the work, they've seen the time, uh, but they're pretty worn. So stiffer valve springs, higher lift, more duration on the cams, still staying on stock pulley for now, but this A test gives us a good new blank slate. Uh, came away today making about 254, I think was the final number. We landed on 254 wheel, 218 torque. Uh, very solid, you know, the car's running great. It's, it has been, like I mentioned. But we're gonna install those cams, valve springs, bring it back over, and see what it does. Like I said, raise, raise the rev limiter, get a little more, hopefully a little more noise out of those cams. Uh, although, you know, this car is on a stock muffler still. But that's all right. We're gonna let her breathe a little more and catch you on the flip side after we get the, those new bump sticks in. We'll see you.
we're back here at the dyno again. A couple days later, Ryan Klein got the stage two supercharged cams and our 82 pound valve springs and titanium retainers installed. And here we are for the B test. So at the end of the day, we picked up 20 wheel horsepower and eight pound feet of torque, which doesn't sound like a huge number, but the biggest thing to consider here is obviously I'm still on a stock pulley. So what I may be running into here is we might be getting out of the efficiency range of the M62. It's something that we always preach here at ZZ Performance. You wanna size your pulley to fit within that efficiency range. And typically that's anywhere from 12 to 13, all the way up to about 18 PSI max. Anything past that, you're overspinning it. But at this point with the cams, while we did increase our lift duration, got a nice stiff set of valve springs in there. What we also did, because those valves are staying open longer and wider, is we decreased the boost. So at the top of a third gear pull, before when we made 254 a couple days ago, we were about 12 and a half pounds. Uh, today, 7,500, which is where I was revving out to, uh, is only 10 and a half pounds. So it's quite low. Um, now, this fits within my kind of philosophy with the car. I wanted to keep it reliable, something I can bring to the road course, and less boost, you're making less heat. So in the end, it's not too bad. Now, what I may say for maybe next video, maybe a couple, I think it might be time to try a couple different pulley sizes, see where we end up, see picking that boost up where power ends up, uh, you know, if we're making 275 wheel now on a warm day, you know, 300 is, is very achievable and it's all off the shelf stuff. It's a cookie cutter build at this point, aside from, from uh, the stock pulley, which is the one thing that differentiates it from most folks. What I will say is we picked up power everywhere. There's no point within the power curve that you see it dip below our A test. Uh, same with torque, we were up across the board. We shifted our power band about 400 RPM, so now we're making peak power closer to 7200 instead of 6800. But overall, the car feels great. Uh, it's ripping, it's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, this video is just kind of show you guys camshafts, even without that smaller pulley, they're gonna pick up a good, a good bit of power. Uh, and they sound great too. So. With that, I think that's all I got for today. I don't wanna to ramble too much, don't wanna make this too long, but other than going down in pulley size, let me know what you guys wanna see next. Old Blue's ready for anything, so send them on over, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.